I have recently discovered some things about Gilmore Girls that I'm sort of embarrassed to admit I didn't know before. But I didn't! And maybe I'm not alone. I'm probably alone. <laughs> has always been one of those names that I know I should probably know something about, but like, nothing. If her name got dropped out of context, I wouldn't have been able to tell you if she was an actor or a singer. Or a politician! So I'm watching the Tonys, and Carol King is gonna come out and introduce an award, and I'm like, ah, she's on Gilmore Girls! She's on um, Sophie! She runs a music shop! Why was she on Gilmore Girls? I don't know. They had a ton of weird cameos. Maybe Carol King just wanted to be on the show. Fast forward to last week when I start listening to the Gilmore Guys podcast. One guy who's loved the show since it aired, and one who's on his first time through talking about each episode in turn. I'm loving it. And the fact that I've seen the show so many times, I don't have to rewatch it in order to know exactly what they're talking about. Anyway, in one of the first episodes, they talk about the awesome theme song by Carol King. This song that I have loved for more than half my life that I know all the words to, except that it turns out I don't. I had the house to myself, so despite, <laughs> I decided to learn a new ukulele song. And what better option than the Gilmore Girls theme? Turns out what they use for the theme is verse two and the chorus, which taken out of the rest of the song and attached to Gilmore Girls has always spoken to me of very positive female friendship and support, which isn't something you get a lot of in media. It's why I love Gilmore Girls. It's why the song was so perfect. Yeah, the song on its own is definitely Definitely about a man. Which is fine. Who doesn't love a good love song? But I got a couple twinges from this one. The lyrics are, and I'm paraphrasing, you're worth following to the end of the earth, lead and I'll follow, I'll go anywhere you tell me to, if you need me call, I'll be there ASAP. I had this dream for my life that did not involve a big city, but if you want to go to New York, sure! And if one person is capable of making me happy, you're that person. And it's this one that might be bringing me back from the edge because you couldn't make me happy if none of these were reciprocated. Because that's the twinge. This just feels like a very one-sided love song. Are all love songs one-sided? Am I just prejudiced because I'm so disappointed that this song's not actually about friendship? All that to say, did everyone else know that Carol King wrote the theme song for and played a character in Gilmore Girls? Yeah, her name is literally in the closing credits of every single episode. Right. Well, thanks for watching. Subscribe for new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Bye! If you're watching this and thinking, Laura, you were sick, but then you got better and now you're sick? No. I stockpiled some nonsense, no current events videos for my parents' visit. Chances are I'm healthy and in Ireland. God, I hope I'm healthy.